Welcome. In front of me is a Cubot X30, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. So let me quickly connect to network. So soon you should be able to see that the device is locked. So as you can see, I can verify uh, the uh, device by using either a pattern or the Google account. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, we're going to begin by going back to the first page and from here changing the language to uh, any kind of language that uses a different keyboard. So basically anything that seems to be from Greek down uh, will work because it, as you can clearly see, it uses completely different keyboards. So once you change it, let's go progress through the setup once more and you want to get back to the uh, to the Google verification again. And from here, tap on a field. And once you see the keyboard, you want to hold the globe icon. And once you see the two options, let's tap on the language select right here and then change keyboard. And from here, choose first option that doesn't have a arrow, tap on add keyboard right here. And once you do, you can then go back again to the first page, change it back to English or whatever your language of choice is. And again, let's stop on start and again, get back to the Google verification screen. And from here, hold again the globe icon, change it to QWERTY, hold it again, go to language select settings I mean add a keyboard and then find one with an arrow so there's Albanian tap on the three dots from here and go to help and feedback and in the search bar for help and feedback you want to type in Morse M O. there we go use Morse code it comes up as a suggested select it tap on the video itself and once it loads, tap on the three dots and go to watch later, which will open up our web browser. From here, let's select accept and continue and no thanks for the sync. And then tap on the field and type in hard reset that info. And from here, I'm going to tap on the three bars, go to the download category, scroll down, actually let's scroll down, and tap on the field right here, and you're looking for Android 7.1.2. And search for it and it should only bring up one result so frp bypass android 712 and 10 tap on the download scroll down and hold the download link choose open an incognito tab tap on ok and we'll start downloading now we're opening it in incognito so there is no problem with the download uh, if you try to do it normally there is uh, sometimes a problem where the link or the download reaches a hundred percent and never finishes downloading now once it's done click on open Go to the settings, check the allow from this source, and then go back and install. From here, let's choose to open, continue, OK, and disregard the fact that it's going to now be crashing, doesn't matter anymore. So from here, let's go back, back, back once more. And I'll change the search right here to settings. And again, scroll down, choose download. Now 
There we go. Scroll down, hold, open incognito, and again, confirm it by tapping on OK, and opening it up. Install. And open. Okay. And from here, once you open it up, start off by going into the apps and notifications, select the C all 37, three dots, show system, and scroll down to G. There we go, so G, and we're looking for Google Play Services and Play Store. So let's disable these two apps. There we go. As you can see now, they're both disabled right here. So let's go back, back, and now we're gonna go into the accounts. Tap on an account, choose Google, and from here, you can log in with your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can simply create one on your computer um, for just, for instance, this purpose here, uh, kind of like a trash mail if you want to. Now I have my own, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put in a password for it. And now let's log in. Hmm, let's skip this. I agree. And from here, we're gonna go back, back to the apps. See all 37, again, show system, scroll down to G. And re-enable the apps that we have disabled. Once they're enabled, hold par key, restart, restart, and wait for the device to boot back up. So from here again, let's progress through the setup. As you can see, it tells us that account was added. as the account that I have added right before the reboot. And also, as you can see, the uh, app keeps crashing. Disregard it by just clicking on the display off of the pop-up. So let's tap on next. And at this moment, you want to go through the setup process as quick as possible. It doesn't really matter what we set up, we still need to um, reset the device once more. And as you can see, we're now on the home screen. So from here, let's go into the settings. Scroll all the way down to System, Advanced, Reset Options, Erase All Data, Factory Reset, and choose to erase all data. And again, erase all data. And this will begin another reset of the device. And this time around, it will remove basically uh, all the accounts that were on this device. So the one that we have added along with the uh, previous one that was blocking us. So let's wait for the process to finish up. So from here, once the reset is finished, you can set up your device and this time around you can add everything that you want. You can also skip connecting to Wi-Fi if you want to. So let's set up an offline continue. Now I'm gonna skip through most of this just to save on time. But like I said, you can add whatever you want here. And there we go. As you've seen, there was no need to verify anything. It just allowed me to set up the device without any problem. 
and that is how you would bypass it. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.